Hello, I'm Mr. Hartgrave, and I'm addicted to Marvel Strike Force. And on this episode of Addicted to Marvel Strike Force, we're going to be tackling this blog, some controversial issues. We're going to be sitting down with Run 7, and we will have some Dark Dimension 6 gameplay. But first up is always that blog, no math, everybody. All blog, no math. We're all about that blog, no math, no math. That's right, they've removed the charts. I didn't do it. Okay, before anybody blames me, I didn't do it. I didn't remove the charts. I had nothing to do with this. It might benefit me greatly, but I didn't do it, and I didn't ask for it. It wasn't my idea. But, you know, like and subscribe, because I might be your only source of event math going forward. So I'm not going to say that I'm that upset about it, because just to be very transparent... This might work out very well for my channel. I, that's as much as I really want to get into it. You might have feelings about that. You might have liked to go somewhere else for your event math, and now you have to come here. What I'm going to tell you is that I am going to do my very best to deliver the math to you without error, if possible. Simple, clean, effective math. No swears, unless you want them and easy to understand and in a timely fashion. I intend to be extremely professional about this. I, re I do the math video, and I'll say this later on as well with Run 7, but let me put it right up here front as well. I don't make any money off the math videos I make for Marvel Strike Force. They perform very poorly. It's not something that pays well. You might see me put a sponsor on them. That's because I don't make a lot of money off of them, so I need sponsors to help me out. Thank you, um, Magic Mind. But <laughs> I do it because I respect this community. You guys have put me in this position. You have given me a platform. You have helped me become a YouTube content creator who is successful both on this channel and now on a second channel. Over the years, this success has allowed me to build this studio to bring you this content in this high definition, high quality format that you become accustomed to, and me as well, on good microphones through good sounding equipment and all that kind of stuff. So thank you. I appreciate that you have done that for me. So what I do for this community is when I get the event math, whenever I get it, and I haven't got it yet. I don't have it right now. And I know there's an event starting like today. So that I probably put out a video on Sunday. And to make that video, I'm going to tell you, this is... This is in the past, and it's actually now, it, it'll be after that video. Look, time's weird. But I'm going to tell you, to make that math video, I probably had to stay up till 2 a.m. in the morning. I had to neglect my family the next day because I'm tired and I have to sleep in. But that's what it takes to get it done, right? And I do it every week, and I've done it every week for like over a year now, I think. I, I can't even keep track. And honestly, it's not incredibly rewarding, but I know that I want to keep, I do it because I want the events to go off in a way that we can all complete them, not just me. I mean, I also do it so I can complete them, but I want to help out everybody. Um, when it's their intention to let you get like the monthly milestone item every month free to play, I hold them to that and I make sure that these events go off that way. Now, would it happen without me? Probably. If I wasn't doing, would somebody else do it? Sure. Would they get tired of doing it and quit? Absolutely. Will I get tired and quit and quit doing it someday? Probably not. I'm a psychopath. Speaking of being a psychopath, let's go ahead and read this blog because I'm sure that it is uh, something only a psychopath would read. Uh, there's a video, and look, guys, as much as I hate myself, I'm not going to watch this video. My chat has told me time and time again it's boring. If there was something really amazing in here, I'll make sure to watch it on another video, but I'm super tired. I'm actually shooting this after I did the interview with Run7, which is going to play right after this, so I'm already all talked out. This is basically the end of the video, but it's actually the start of the video. Like I said, time is weird. So... Um, yeah, I'll have footage of the whole team at some point. They'll give me access to it on the test server and I'll make videos about this team. What do you need to know about the team? It's a war defense team that has now been changed into a war offense team that's required 
for a legendary. And yes, I said required. I didn't say maybe required. I said it's required. We know it's required because Masters of Evil was required. Nowhere was required. It didn't matter what the second team was. Build new Avengers or suffer. That's my official advice on it. No, there's no wiggle room. All right, uh, going down here, September 11th, and that's today. By the way, never forget, respect to everybody. Um, God, my heart goes out to everybody who was involved in the September, um, the 9-11 tragedy. Uh, I live in New Jersey. That was traumatic when it happened to me and my friends here. Um, so I can't see that date and not call that out. Uh, there's a Black Panther 1MM Blitz. Um, this is the last war scourge. The last Red Hulk scourge has started this day. Today that starts. And our first event starts. It's going to be a Blitz event. Um, most likely it's going to suck. Most likely this Blitz event is going to suck. You probably have already watched a video where I tell you how much it sucks. Then on September 13th, they're going to open up the Hard Nexus, Chapters 3 and 4. Very cool. And then they are going to do a uh, quick rumble with Marauders. They're going to release Mockingbird for money. And then you're going to be able to spend camp. So I believe the Blitz isn't to unlock Ronin. This is kind of confusing. And I don't know this for sure. It looks like the Blitz will not unlock Ronin. It'll just get you some divination orbs. Which will, I don't know. I don't know who's in di divination orbs. Um, but it's it's this where you can recruit Ronin by spending campaign energy on September 15th. So make sure you're aware of that one and watch my math video whenever it comes out. If it comes out. Who knows? They might not give me access to the charts. There are no rules. Mockingbird is uh, going to be released. Um, great. I'm not going to buy her. And then... Yeah, they don't really tell us what we're going to get out of here. Like, who's in the orbs? Like, yeah, I read through this. I did get to look at the blog in, like, a text version, like, last night. And, yeah, it's just not clear. Commanders can earn divination orbs or participate. What? Can Commanders who earn divination orbs or participate in Blitz. I was thinking you got the orbs from the Blitz. I don't know, man. This literally makes no sense. Um, then there's going to be a web milestone in conjunction with this where you earn blitz credits for it, where you get divination orbs. This is so weird. And I, I wish I could explain it better, but I can't not in this video. Look at my other videos. This is some horse shit. I will say that this is horse shit. I can see why mobile gamer just was like, fuck this and quit because like, I'm trying to read this blog and there's nothing here for me to explain to you. I don't, I'm like. There are events starting. I don't know what the fuck they are. Good luck, Commander. Like, it's not very fun. This sucks. This is a cop out. All right. And then, yeah, you'll be able to recruit Ronan from this event, which I know nothing about. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. This is so stupid. Okay, here's a breakdown of the War Scourge event. Which you, if, you, if you need any help on the War Scourge, I have a playlist on this channel with all my Scourge advice. It's all true. It, it hasn't really, it, it's aged pretty well. If I find that there's a new technique on the War Scourge, I will put out a video on that. So keep an eye out for that. In fact, there might be now with Miss Marvel Hardlight and Ghost Rider. There might be some new things that we can do on these scourges, some new recommendations for who to build. So I might be putting out a new video on the war scourge, but I won't know until it's live. Uh, okay, we have new hard uh, changes. Titania and um, Union Jack are going to be farmable. And that's it for the blog. Thank God, because I'm um, kind of upset now that I look at it and don't see the charts. I actually kind of missed the charts. It's kind of screwed up my video, but thank God that Run7 was here to save it. Everybody, enjoy this interview with Run7, and make sure you stay tuned after for more Mr. Hartgrave solo content that you love so much. Keep digging. It, it, well, it's a grim day, so maybe black right. is appropriate because we have lost Mobile Gamer from the Envoy program. At least that's the breaking news that, mm -hmm. I'm, that I'm actually going to be delivering later than you do. Uh, my, my loot, see, I, I record this Friday night and then I put it up Monday morning. 
So my news is actually the latest. Do you know what you you might you might think you weren't copying something I did, but you everybody is copying something <laughs> that I did. <laughs> you made it cool before we knew it was cool. I've always <laughs> been late with the news. I always yeah. post my blog reactions two days or three days late. So, well, when we it comes it to uh, event information, the later the better because of all the changes <laughs> that they have to make to that information. All right. So, is that your mindset? Is that where you're at on this? Are you upset by this? Okay. First off, let's let's kind of start at the top. They have an issue with putting out accurate information in the blog post and they have to keep changing it. And it's the joke is that the data mines are more accurate than the blog posts. And it's really pathetic. And we have asked them to let us review this information at an earlier date so that we can give them feedback. And we try and try and try to get all these changes made behind the scenes so that the best, most clear and accurate information can be given to the community in a timely fashion. And their response is, that's too tough for us, so we're just going to remove it all together. And instead, uh, they're going to give it to... Allegedly. They're going to give it to a handful of certain envoys. I don't know what that list includes. It's certainly not me. They know nope. that I don't do wait, the numbers. Wait, no. Content creators. I want to oh, keep... Oh, content creators. Yeah, I want to keep you making covered. sure I'm accurate with my words. I don't want you to break NDA, sir. That's right. Content <laughs> creators. Uh, I would... I mean help do this because there's a lot of uh, non envoy people who uh, do a pretty good job, you know, going over these numbers and, and breaking them down. And I kind of don't want them to miss out on it because they're doing a good job of growing their channels and, and becoming content creators themselves. And this will kind of like, if it's just envoys, it's going to be a, a slap in the face to them because they won't have the opportunity to do it. And they won't be able to compete with the early videos. Their video will be that much later, or unless there's some sort of an embargo release date that allows them, you know, a few hours to put something together, which is ridiculous. They won't do that. So that, that makes it tough for people who don't have access to this. Now, that being said, there are a lot of people who are pushing to make the Envoy program and just contacting Lori and Archangel and saying, hey, I want to be a part of this. Are they going to open it up to those people who are serious? Are they going to say, hey, this is our criteria for the Envoy. We're going to let you guys in here just so you can have access to this. Are they going to make a subcategory for these charts? What are they going to do to try and be fair to the community members who are trying to grow and be helpful and uh, part of this conversation? I, I don't know. I, that's a, a huge dialogue, you know? Yeah. Um, and, I mean, that's all very nice of you. For me trying to get views on YouTube. And keep in mind, I am not saying that I had a damn thing to do with this. And I think you can testify that I did not. I, I can. This I was, a damn I was on the call when we were told that this was one of the things that might be happening. It was news to Allegedly, everybody on that call. subject to change. Right. Covering bases. Um, right. But when this news came down, this wasn't something that was up for debate. This isn't something... Right. To my knowledge, it wasn't a question. It was like, hey, here's a heads up. We're, we're thinking down. we're just going to strip this out. This is what's going down, right? Yeah. Um, for me, this is great. I make math videos. I have a hard right. time getting views on my math and, videos. My and math you already videos have the persona of the most hated envoy around. So those people who are like, who's the dickhead that's going to start doing math videos now that they've slapped everybody else? And you're like, I'm cool with that. I can roll with that. You know, it's that's for great me. for you. It's fine. For uh, me. It's, great. it's all coming I'm apart. I'm lazy grave. as fuck. I'm not going to be doing any videos anyway. So it doesn't bother me. But I am kind of worried that it's going to be like, okay, there's like three or four envoys that may have wanted to take this on whether they're going to or not and it doesn't give us a variety the other thing that you need to watch out like let's just say that all the other envoys are pissed and leave the envoy program and it's just me and you in there <laughs> and you make the video and i watch your video and plug it what happens if they give you shitty information and you tell all the community hey do five rotations a day and it turns out they needed to do six i have the perfect temperament for this because i don't give a shit <laughs> okay, I don't give a shit. I will yeah. give you the numbers that they give me. I will break it down. I will tell you what is needed. And that's it, guys. You're on your mm -hmm. own. And yeah. here's and, and it's not so it's not so much you're on your own because okay, I, I don't know if this has been clear. I don't know if 
I, I hope you understand it, but I don't know if everybody gets it. Everybody watching this video, I don't know what kind of traction this is going to do on YouTube. This is all nuts. Uh, uncharted territory here. Um, I get the, the historically, I have received the event. Right now, I have no event information. I have nothing. To, this mm -hmm. week is weird. Uh, normally, yeah. I get it like Thursday at like midnight. I stay up from midnight until like 2 a.m., crunching all the numbers and verifying all the information with community manager Archangel. I mm -hmm. think it's okay for me to say that because I've been doing, I'm basically an unpaid fucking intern for Marvel right. Strength Force, and it's fucked up. And then I put the fucking video out. It mostly gets ignored, and then changes get made to the events, and other people run with those videos, and, you know, whatever. Nobody fucking credits me for shit. I don't give a fuck. I do this for myself so that I can win events, and I don't know. I guess as a way to give back to my viewership, the people that have supported me for, like, four years, I keep mm -hmm. doing this because I'm like, well, this is a way for me to give back, to kind of make sure that free-to-play players, that lo light spenders are still able to get the monthly items. Like, I believe yeah, it's... If it, you weren't a content creator, you'd probably be doing this for your alliance. I would do it for my alliance. I'm an alliance captain, my yeah. alliance leader, so I crunch these and, numbers anyways. And saw a lot of people, already I'm seeing messages on Discord of people in alliances and clusters saying, well... I was going to, you know, continue doing this for you guys, but I can't make this happen anymore. So you'll just have to wait and see whatever Envoy puts this out or content creator puts this out. And that's all we get to do. So I, uh, I, so here's the thing. First off, are they truly incapable of putting out accurate information in a timely fashion? I don't believe so. I think that's <laughs> I think a bullshit, so. like cop out. I think they could simply lean into people like you and there's other envoys who are constantly pinging and saying hey you're off by three points here or 500 right. points here or these milestones need to Run. hear or it's this in the blog post it says this in the cliff notes whatever and so i think they have the ability to get it right i think it's just challenging and they're not doing it anymore just like and i've been trumpeting this horn all the time they have the ability to make fun and interesting teams that people will spend money on but they're too fucking lazy to do that and so instead they just make them required to unlock the next legendary they fomo the shit out of that so that people will go buy that team or build that team they even made an event with gold in it so that you'd spend specifically leveling up characters so that you because they know the team sucks outside of war you know Fantastic in war, great offense. That's fan that was a nice little you know flex there, letting them go on offense. The team sucks everywhere else. They're boring. Have you seen the cooldowns on Tigra on Ronin? They don't do anything. If they are not a five piece team in war, they are trash. And everybody knows this. And no one wants to build. Everybody's waiting for a team to skip because the goddamn bottlenecks are so hard in this game right now. And we've been crying about agency, and what do they do? They take it away from us again. They're forcing us to build a team that people don't want to build. Instead of just doing their job and making a fun and interesting team that people would be willing to spend money on. No, they go the other route. And it's frustrating. And it's the same thing now. They're taking the charts out of the blog post because they don't want to put in the time or effort. Instead, they want to put... I don't, how much would it cost to just get like a intern to go in and look over this shit and get it right? Like, really? I, I don't understand. I, I'm not I'm not inside. I don't know how it works. There must be a legitimate reason or else they are just absolutely lazy and greedy because I think you could make an actual blog post with correct information from the get go. I think that is possible. And I think they're taking a cop out on this one. Now, that being said, let's just assume that they can't get it right, that they are just incapable, incompetent, for whatever reason, they cannot make a blog post with accurate information, so they're going to give it to somebody. Now we have a cascade of problems elsewhere, and we, we started talking about that, and I think it's... It's kind of unfortunate that they're cutting so many people out of this instead of just doing the work. Sorry, rant over. I appreciate it, man. Look, we haven't had a good rant on this channel in a minute. Like, Hargrave's been really chill around here, and I think people have been upset about that. So, know that anytime you want to come here and just vent, I've, I've opened that door to any content creator that doesn't feel they have that uh, ability on their own. You know, come over to Mr. Hargrave's mm -hmm. channel. You can swear, you can curse, you can throw shit. It's fine. Um, uh, they could hire me, <laughs> like, right? Like, honestly, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, all right. 
I, I don't want to get myself in trouble because honestly, I might be one of the only guys that is going to be able to help you get this shit straightened out going forward. I don't want to fuck that up for the community, right? I don't want to get myself mm -hmm. kicked out of the Envoy program or whatever. So I try to be careful with my words. I don't really think I'm going to get in trouble for a goddamn thing I say, but I don't need drama. I've had enough drama, as you well know. So um, the information that I have dealt with, the pre-information, information that you guys never even saw, right? that I have dealt with for the last, I guess I've been in the Envoy program for at least a year now. And I've been kind of, mm -hmm. I've been kind of the front line. I'm, I'm the first guy that gets the, the numbers. I'm the first guy that checks them outside of the company um, who checks this stuff. And you know, it's dubious whether it's checked on in, internals. And this is what mm -hmm. I'm kind of saying. Some of this shit that gets to me is like, this is horse shit. Like this right. shows, and it's been better recently. They definitely made, they, they've definitely, and I think it's okay for me to say, have done, there, there's something that has changed internally where the information is better now than it was before. Yeah. Um, and, so. and I'm not, I don't really want to point fingers or something, but um, Sean Dugan left. And around yeah. the same time, we've seen them start listening to some things and making some changes that they previously sure. weren't willing to make. Uh, I don't know if there's a correlation there, but I personally, this is my own personal feelings. I kind of feel like maybe Dugan was holding them back for some reason or, or just was pushing them in the wrong direction. So I'm glad that there's been a change there for whatever reason, whoever the new person is, we still don't know who the new person is filling his shoes as a creative director. Uh, but I, I do feel that there have been some changes and I don't know if that's the player's voice movement. I don't know if that's because they're getting hit in the pocketbooks because to Don O'Mac left. I don't know what it is, but there has been a storm of things happening. And, and so I'm, I'm not saying it's Dugan. I'm, I'm not saying anything, but there's been a lot of things happening and we are getting some change in Scopely. Things have been moving for the better. But this, you know, when I first saw this, when I first heard about this, it was kind of like, I don't care because I'm not the numbers guy. It doesn't affect me. I'm still going to get something from someone and I'll report it and say, go check that. They say it's this many rotations a day. And so it's not that big a deal for me. Honestly, the biggest thing is that they pissed off my hero mobile gamer and he just walked out of the Envoy program, which I have strived so hard to join and follow in his footsteps. I'm sad about that. I think that um, though mobile was interacting less and less in that group because of the stupid things that they do and not listening to him and not paying any attention and making bad changes, uh, you know, uh, I think that we kind of lost somebody who could have really helped us out. And I'm, I'm worried that they're going to continue to make changes and he's going to go off to another game entirely. You know, not that he's carrying the show or anything, but like I said, he's he's somebody that I kind of looked up to and 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 mimicked a lot after and tried to learn from and stuff. And now he's stepping out and I'm just kind of like, well, shit, man, I feel like I just got here and now people are bailing out. You know, are 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 is it a sinking ship? Is that's what ha happening or is mobile just maybe, you know, it didn't get a Snickers bar? I'm not sure. OK, um, I like mobile gamer. I would never really say anything bad about Mobile Gamer. I don't think I ever really have. Um, as far as... Do you, do you think he popped off too hot today? Do you think he re he reacted too hot? I don't know what he's doing, guy. Um, oh, yeah? I don't understand Twitch. I'm not a good Twitch streamer. A good Twitch streamer <laughs> makes sure that their audience is entertained. What he did tonight yeah. was, for better or for worse, entertaining. I don't know what he's up to. I don't, I, Dude, if the guy is hurting... I hope he feels better. If there's anything I can do, let me know. Mm -hmm. If it's performative, you know, whatever's working for you, I guess that's what you're going to do. I don't tend to do that stuff myself, so I don't understand it. I've seen a lot of it over the years, though. I'm happy that when he went down in flames, he said a lot of nice stuff about me. So we can leave oh, it yeah. at that. Yeah, he said, I'm, I'm great. He was talking about how smart I am and my math and everything. So that, that's nice. I, I really appreciate that. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, that's great. Um, as far as his impact on the Envoy program... A guy ever well, it's, since it's been diminishing over over the last uh, that's a nice couple way to of say months. It. It's a nice way yeah. to say it. Okay. Um, well, and you know he's he's kind of openly said that he and I don't want to put words in his yeah. mouth, but uh, you know he's kind of said that he's just less and less yeah. just kind of quiet quit the program already because he, he didn't feel his impact was meaningful. And there's I think a, a lot of us feel it. that way in the program there's, when we tell yeah. them that there's mistakes in yeah. the numbers and they don't get changed. Yeah. You know. 
Um, that's a good way to say it. Quiet quit. I feel that yeah. that happened before I joined. So I've never yeah. seen it. I've never seen that. Allegedly mm -hmm. subject to change. I haven't seen everything. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Let me try to cover myself that one. <laughs> but I don't think like I don't think it's doom and gloom. I don't think it's like oh, mobile uh, gamer left the Envoy program. Oh, the Envoy program's falling apart. Uh, I gotta credit myself here. Mr. Hartgrave's still there. I work my ass off in the Envoy program to make mm -hmm. sure this shit gets done. In fact, I have two notable changes that just happened this week, and they happen fucking fast. So like shockingly fast for me. Like I was like, hey, this mm -hmm. is a problem. And they're like, it's fixed. Plus, here's some extra. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I was really surprised. And these are those blogs that came out. Those a uh, couple of blogs. Mm -hmm. um, I can I don't know. I don't want to I never want to take full credit for anything because somebody is going to get fucking weird on me or whatever. But I'm definitely a big part of that. You probably are privy to some of that. I, I tend to do some of my work in personal messages because I don't like to broadcast some shit mm -hmm. and that's like a content creator thing like, well you're you're pretty you're pretty close with archangel also yeah. right i know you guys work together on the side a bit yeah so that helps yeah and, 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 you know and there's a handful of envoys of who are it's for clarity of communication too like don't like i'm not like oh i'm conspiring with archangel to remove right. the blogs from remove the charts from the right it's you not didn't like be that. like hey mm. give me the spotlight this month yeah. i know that wasn't anything I but know. um it, it's it's but, so yeah. that the messaging is clear and because the envoy server is fucking chaotic it's been growing there's more of us and mm -hmm. it's a lot of shit to the point where and I'm just going to fucking say it because people get on my case about it. So let me address it right now. I block people, not because I don't like them, not because I fucking hate them or any of that kind of shit. But it might just come down to the point of you type too fucking much. OK, wherever you are, whether that be yeah. on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or fucking Discord or right here on, on Twitch. I sometimes got to block people out because. I get at my level of content creation, I run two YouTube channels successfully at this point. Um, I get like thousands of messages a day. I can't read all that shit and help my community. I got to filter some of that shit out. So that's what mm -hmm. that's all about. If anyone's ever been like, Mr. Hartgrave, I don't trust him with the math. He's a fucking ogre. I'm like, no, I just, I'm trying to get this yeah, shit there's done. All, there's always going to be haters. And, and I know you have your own unique style as well. Uh, it is kind of funny though, because sometimes you'll make a comment and somebody in the server will like yeah, 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 yeah. give you a compliment, but you've got them blocked and, and then a string, a string of jokes yeah, ensues with these people that they know they're being blocked, but they're, they're trying to agree with you. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it, um, it's all good. You know, and, and I, I, I appreciate that guys, you know, for those of you, I have blocked, uh, you know, whatever, man, like just un try to under like, try to put yourself in my shoes for a minute. Mobile gamer himself. You can't just PM him. He's shut down. Uh, you have to share right. a server with him. You have to friend him. You have to like get in touch with him. I'm a, I'm a nobody as a content creator, and I do all. not allow push notifications because I get uh, too many messages. And I, I, I'm, I'm a nobody, you know, yeah. so I can't imagine what mobile has to deal with. Yeah. Um, so what do you think, I'm curious, what do you think this change, is this going to be a net positive for the community? Content creators aside, because that's like a whole separate conversation about how they're affected by this. But for the community at large, do you think they're going to be getting better information at a faster rate? Or do you think this is going to prohibit them and make things more confusing and have them make mistakes in game and waste their resources? Okay, cool. Uh, that's a really good question. And that's like what I hoped that the conversation would be around when this was, I don't know, man, I, I'm in a tricky spot right here with this one, right? All right. Um, let's just stick with what I think. <laughs> I know that some people think that this is a good thing, right? Because mm -hmm. some people, some community members not even talking about the Envoy program at this point, let's just open it up to community people, get so fucking upset and cannot handle the subject to change line. I've banned people out of this fucking chat because right. they get too fucking weird with me about subject to change. To the point where, like, I can't trust anything that's in this blog. This blog is bullshit. Never read it. Fuck Scopely. Uh, this is, this, they're doing this on purpose. People that get like that are the reason why this is happening, quite honestly. That's where this is rooted in. You fucking guys asked for it, okay? You bitch so fucking much about subject to change. You bitch so fucking much about the charts. 
And I, got, I hate to throw this on the community, but it's real talk. Like, this is where the reaction's coming from. This is what it stemmed in. Is I Be careful like, what you wish for, because Scopely sometimes will give you listen. what you wish for, just not the way you wanted it. It's a fucking monkey paw wish, and I feel like this is a reaction, honestly, to Reddit. I feel Reddit brings this on itself, because it's like, I, I, tell, I advise Boundless all the fucking time. I'm like, stop listening to Reddit. I advise this community. I stopped reading. I haven't looked at a Reddit post in two years and my life has been better for it. I used to look at Reddit mm -hmm. every week for a say. I used to do everything wrong with Marvel Strike Force and I would look at all like the top Reddit posts and I would get angry too and we'd do a lot of rage shit on this channel and people were like, I miss the old Heartgrave where you used to get mad about dumb shit that didn't fucking matter. That was Reddit Heartgrave. We got to mm -hmm. fuck that. Fuck those guys. It's like 500 guys, too. It's like not a lot of people. It's like literally mm -hmm. 500 dudes who are just pissed about everything and just looking for shit. And that's where this stems. That's where I firmly believe. And this is why they can't even, like, allegedly, subject to change. They can't, like, this is why I assume they can't just be like, this is why we're changing this. Is because you man babies on red. Like, that would be taken the wrong way, of course. So you can't say that. That's got to be the, the quiet part. Um I don't know, man. Um, is it better for the community? It would be better for the community, honestly, if we could just handle our shit. But this community community can't handle its shit. We get worked up every time there's the slightest error in the blog and then accuse them of trying to fuck us, even though every time... Usually, I don't want to say every time. I want to say about 50% of the time to 75% of the time, they will error in our favor. They'll be like, we fucked up in the blog, so here you can have the thing. Here it is. Mm -hmm. And I think they're getting tired of doing that. I think that's some of this as well. And that part I don't like. That's kind of stingy. Like, well, we keep fucking up and having to comp you. So now we're just not going to show you this anymore. So we don't have to comp you anymore. I don't like that part at all. I'm hoping. Well, that then they can pass the blame onto the content creator that puts that information out. Yeah, yeah. They have a, they have a buffer there. And I'm not sure that that's a good thing. I think it's really going to depend on. Are, if they give this to content creators, let's not say envoys, let's just, hopefully it is content creator. Maybe they can come up with some sort of a web portal or something where anybody who is a content creator can go there and get this information ahead of time. I don't know how they could possibly do run, that. And run, And have leaks or something. I don't know. Run, I work too fucking hard. I want it just to be me. <laughs> okay. Fine then you, but it, are they going to give you the right information? Are they going to listen to you? And are they going to make the changes? Because so That's far, is, yeah. they give it to all the envoys, and most of the envoys are in there, like you, saying, hey, this is wrong. This needs to be fixed. This needs to be changed. And we still get a blog that has mistakes. Me, I'm okay with those blogs. I barely pay attention to them. I hardly read the the read-alongs when when you or Boylan or Monguli or somebody puts out some sort of numbers out there. I tend to just skip to the end where you guys show on your charts how many rotations I'm supposed to do because I don't want to listen to a 10, 15, 20-minute video for that information. I just want to play the game and have fun doing it. That's good you know? feedback. I mean, and I, so I, I guess this whole issue isn't that big of a deal to me. I'm actually kind of surprised that Mobile exploded the way he did. Yeah, uh, I understand that it's not fair to other content creators. And honestly, the best thing would have been to just listen to the envoys in the first place and put out accurate information the first time. But for whatever reason, they are admitting that they are incapable of doing that. And they're just going to take the easy way out. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 this does, I can't not deny that this is a huge cop-out. Um, not being transparent with this stuff, um, no matter which way you slice it, it's like, yeah, why the fuck are you just copping out and, like, not making the information public? As far as, yeah, who they give it to and all that kind of shit, like, I don't know. Um, and that, that, I like the feedback that you had there about how you don't want a 20-minute video you just want to know what the fuck is going on quickly. Right. I mean, so. you could look at the blog post, see those charts, go to the information you wanted to, maybe do a little math yourself or whatever, and, and you could get it pretty quick. I'm not that good with numbers. Yeah. So, like I said, I just wait for you guys to put out videos and, and watch them. Um, so it, it's it's really going to depend on the quality and time that this information comes out. Is it good quality information coming in a timely fashion? Then it's a win for the community. You know, as for who gets that information, and I know it, you, it, it, if it's just you, Mr. Hargrave, then it's congratulations, not, look, it's, but it's you not better give me. me a damn good breakdown. It's not just uh, me, but I'll tell you what, and I, I like that point. It definitely will inspire me to raise my game. 
If I know that this is like exclusive information, partially, it's not coming just to me. Let's not start that right right here. Um, It's going to go to a lot of people. I might be the only guy who gives a fuck. That's possible. I might Mm -hmm. be the only guy that actually wants to elevate the content because I do. I very much want I have been working fucking hard at this for over a year now closely Mm -hmm. with Boundless every fucking week every goddamn event and i don't stop i follow up with it i mean we've made a lot of changes it's exhausting just it's, following it's your guys's insane. chain of conversation in the yeah. envoys i'm about to start blocking people because i need to yeah. filter some stuff out like i it's i'm glad personal. that there are people who really <laughs> care about those numbers yeah. and that that i can take the shortcut so i do yeah. appreciate you and all the other people who are working to make those numbers better uh, like i said i think the bottom line is i wish scopely would take the high road and, and do the right thing, put the work in. I think this company makes enough money and has had a loyal oh enough uh, player base that, yeah. that the players deserve them to put in the hard work. And if they're not going to, then man, I hope they put out some fantastic information for you and whoever else is going to be covering this bit of information because the community deserves good information in a timely fashion. Yeah, no, 100%. I am hoping that this will come with a... Um greater re uh, a shorter reaction time because that's been an issue it's been like because i'll sometimes suggest i'll see something coming uh, a good example is what we would just dealt with with the tva store i saw the tva store coming a week away and i i mm-hmm. flipped out a little bit about this you, you probably saw some of that i was right. like i fucking called this out a week ago and right. i knew that the the final event was awarding like forty thousand tva credits and we had like five days to spend them. I mean, like you do the math. There's not enough days, like reasonably. I did the right. math. I cored the fucking store. I just went, whatever, you know, uh, I made a video about it. I'm like, hey, guys, it's a lot of fucking credits. And I, you're going to have to core this store, uh, just spend them. I, I did the same thing. I put out a message saying, hey, this on. event is ending. Yeah. And the, at the time, the last I heard was that they had talked about it. They weren't going to change yeah. it. And so I told everybody, you need to make sure that you spend your currency. I put that video on timed release and I went to bed. And the next morning I woke up and found that uh, on not like 45 minutes, minutes after going to bed yeah. they changed their mind they extended the store and i felt bad because i gave out misinformation instead of waiting until the very last minute to post something i gave out misinformation trying to get ahead and help the community Look, that's on me run, run no, I, no 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 I, no I, no no you cover marvel strike force dude you're not accountable <laughs> everybody everybody knows that, but, but we do need to be accountable for ourselves and mm-hmm. i'm the one who pushed to upload i could have wait i know this company and i know this company changes their mind that well, wasn't something that was put in a like they didn't request me to broadcast that information so i i went out on a limb making the assumption that since the last well, we heard is it's not going to change well, that was it and it wasn't well here's the deal and, they're also and, and the re- other thing was i spent all my credits because not i didn't core to refresh but i spent okay. all my credits and then at the last minute that changed and i was like you know I was paying attention to the timers and doing what I was supposed to do, and I feel bad. Now, I understand that extending that store was great, but in the beginning, they should have listened to you, and then later, the other people who agreed with you in that, I don't know if you saw them, but there were people who tagged right along with you and said, yeah, this isn't enough time. And right at the beginning, they should have said, hey, we're going to extend this store for a couple days after the event ends, so it'll be better for everybody. And then from here on out, when they run a store, let the store go for three or four days after the event closes well, as it, a standard. Well, it, it just was. Just a standard. It was, but it, it just didn't take into account the massive amount of credits that you got on the last day. And then it still yeah. did run for three more days, but it just yeah. wasn't enough time. Like, and they Point didn't, being, they, they were told a week a week before the end of the, the thing, yeah. oh, and yeah. they it had took them to the very last yeah. minute to change it. They had time, and it's, it's fucked up right now. They had to pull the store. They pulled everybody's credits. I'm yeah. hoping that when they bring it back, everybody will get like 10,000 credits and just kind of, that would make it better. I think, honestly, bring it back for a week, give everybody 10, 20,000 credits and just, hey, have fun. It's a video right. game. It's pictures. Who gives a shit? They don't have to produce this stuff. There's no fucking factory pushing out tier mm-hmm. fours. Just character shards. Just fucking give people shit. Stop being dicks. Um, I forgot where we were. I had a thought and then I lost it. 
I don't know. We so were handsome, rambling. Man. We were rambling and trying not to rage. <laughs> I think the the thing is, it's it's kind of an unfortunate situation. Only the future will tell us what we're going to be able to do. If this is going to be a win for the community, I know, and I am very kind of worried that this is going to be a big stepping stone for other content creators because there is a section hmm. of what content comes <laughs> out that many people will not have run, access to run, anymore, and run. it gives you a huge advantage. And that's yeah, okay. You worked hard to become an envoy, <laughs> and so maybe that's that's all right. Uh, Come but on. Give uh, me people a are going to have to get break. real creative to earn their way into the envoy you program. Will. Although, hey, you I, will. I, I, a space just opened up today, so yeah. you know, be sure to return no, your no, applications. Get, no, no, I'm not having all that. Run. You do have to get creative to break in this space, dude. You saw the I shit I did. Creative? I point You're a finger at everybody else fuck. doing the work. No, no. I still am surprised fuck to this day that. that I made it into the no, Envoys. No, fuck that, dude. Your first video was creative as balls, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> My dude. first video fuck almost got me into that. a lawsuit. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, watch yourself. Watch, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. You know, I don't think you want to tell that story. I want to tell that story. Literally, no. Hold that. No, that got that got that got <laughs> smoothed out. That wasn't a big deal. That was I was skating on thin ice for a while. That's I don't all. know, man. That that's a hell of a story. Um, but no, you had to break down the door. You had to get creative. Um, I don't think you really got a foothold until you started doing the recap, which is pretty fucking creative. Nobody else yeah. does that video. You do that video. Nobody else does. By the way, you motherfuckers, like and subscribe to Run Seven. I got his goddamn YouTube there. It's been sitting on the screen the whole time. He yeah, doesn't. He's coming up like on 2, three thousand subs, man. I'm yeah, trying to trying to break that three thousand mark. Give him three thousand subs. For, I at least have three thousand people that are gonna watch this video, and some of them have not subbed to you. So go fucking sub. Come right back. Do it, and then I'll wait. You, you want to see now I'm going to have to put in a huge amount of effort on tomorrow's recap video. Oh, you so. really have to do a lot. You know what I'll tomorrow. do? I'll wait until Monday morning and I'll recap the whole weekend. Like sometimes I like to do when I get real lazy and get all the feedback from everybody and make a monstrous recap. And then I can plug your video. That's going to come out like hours after I post it. So that we can really get some traffic going. We'll we'll cross communicate here. This guy. It's all the right, least this, I can do right. since you're gonna be the only person giving me all the information in these upcoming events. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna try no, to do a really I, good job. So what do you want to know? You just want to know how many blitz rotations, you want to know how many war just, attacks, just very basic, simple shit, right? Like honestly, like if there was a ticker running across the screen or something while you talk about it, you know. That okay. that'd be great. Right. Um, I mean, I can. Uh, but, I can make you know, a I know you need your click through rate. You need people to watch through the video. No, no, You've no. got that mid roll advertisement. No, no. You got to make some money off of. No, no, no. So. Let me let me be clear about the math video. I don't give a fuck. I will run it without ads. I don't give a shit. That is something I do to give back to this community. All that fucking work I do, which I should legitimately be paid for. Like, let's be fucking clear about this. This is this is something they should have someone internally. They need to hire a fucking nerd like me that has played the game for five years and understands the fucking event structure to go through here and check these numbers and make sure it makes sense with reality before it mm -hmm. goes live in the game. They don't do that. They lean on my ass. And I do it not because it, get, it does not get... This video does not perform well. My math videos have never performed well. And they're my worst performing videos. So I don't give a fuck. I will put out a two-minute video. I will do whatever this community wants me to do uh, when it comes down to that math. And uh, yeah. I can do it with swearing or without. Whatever you want. I can do it with the dog. I got well, lots of props. I, I think it's important to have some of those breakdowns because a lot of people will play the game differently. Yeah. And there's some events where you can get some points from over here and you can get some points from over yeah. here. And maybe somebody wants to push hard in this section, but not yeah. so much in this section. So you need those breakdowns so you can see where you're going to get the points from the sections that you want to play. Me, I play everything as much as I have time for reasonably. And so then it usually just comes down to how many, you know, war attacks do I need? How many uh, raid attacks do I need? Uh, what's the most uh, rotations and blitz that I need per day? And once I know the minimums that I need to achieve, if those are within my usual play style, I don't even think about it. It usually just comes back down to blitz because that's the only one I'm not going to do if I don't have to. You know my favorite math video I've ever made? Mm. There was a couple of weeks there. I don't know if they were concurrent or not, but there was a couple of times where it was like, play the game the normal way. You would play the game and you will max out the milestone. 
Those are those the are the best. The best. Because like players like you and me, we play the game pretty <laughs> much to the fullest. Play the game. We maybe don't get sweaty about certain game. events or anything, but we play the game to the fullest. We hit all yeah. our benchmarks, and when you can do that and and max out a mile so that feels pretty good and That's that gets those other people who are just getting into the game yeah. a feel for what you need to do to be a more competitive player yeah, and I think and, that's a uh, great place to be, but you know they got to have their whale stones, they got to have their leaderboards, then they got to make everything complicated as fuck so people make mistakes no, I don't, and then have to go spend money to rec recoup from it. I don't know if they do. I really don't. Like some of these things, some of these things that we assume, like there's a big misconception out there which I'd like to smash up if I can that they care about your screen time. They don't. They don't. Uh, as far as I know, as far as I understand at this point, the conversations around screen time are dead in this industry. In the mobile I, gaming it's industry, my understanding, we don't it's, give a shit. They yet. want logins because that's when you get the pop-up offers. Sure. That that's works. my understanding. Now, that's not some official it's word or anything, time. but that's what I guess. We, As for continuous screen, screen time, I don't think they care shit. so much about that. They don't give a shit. That's, that's an old talking point. That, that was an old... I mean, they used to. They really used to. Mm. But they don't anymore, and they haven't for, like, years. So, like, that talking point is fucking dead. When we talk about that, they laugh at us. Like, these fucking idiots. We don't give a shit about well, that. Well, and the other one that I, I absolutely hate, and I saw this just on Reddit the other day, is why don't you cater to the 98% of people who don't spend ridiculous amounts of money? And if they could make more money catering to that 98%, every offer would be 99 cents. Yeah, they've, they've proven. That's not how it works. Yeah, they, they've proven that it's the whales that yeah. keep these things going. And, and, I, and, and I, I, I'm I disgusted by it. I don't like covering a game that's like that because it's incredibly predatory. I'm, we all have this image in our head of the very wealthy, well-to-do man that has more money than God and doesn't know what to do with it and can just buy cars and left and right and he just chooses to do mobile games. I'm not something we all like to think that. There's also people that spend themselves in the fucking poorhouse over this shit. There's it people exists. that have a stolen credit card and they're yeah. racking it up on somebody else's account. This like it's sure. happening. This shit's but happening. this is the this is a societal problem, and yeah. Scopely is just doing what makes them money. Best I can't practices. begrudge them that. I'm a capitalist yeah. myself. Yeah, but know. you know this idea that they're missing out by not catering to micro yeah. spenders. It's total BS, yeah. and and that's just. They're doing, they're going where the money is, and I'm not going to begrudge them that. I mean, I think they've clearly found that if they run a really good offer, like once every few months, they make a lot of money. Like when mm -hmm. they offer, when it's like 10 bucks for, you know, 2,000 gold promo credits, I think they made a lot of money that day. Mm -hmm. um, but I think or the maybe more... they'll, they'll they'll get their metrics just right. They'll get a character into the sweet spot like they did with me the other day. I was yeah. thinking, hey, this beta ray bill, fifteen shards for ten bucks, isn't a great offer. But if I had fifteen more shards, yeah. I could get the points for him in the event, and it would get me ahead of the there other people and set me as you know. And I was doing this cascade of how it would oh, ten dollars yeah. is a good investment. <laughs> and then when it came down to it, I went. I don't want to give this company any more money because they keep taking shortcuts everywhere else. Yeah. They don't deserve my money. That's what it came down to. Yeah. And if they started treating their player base with more respect and putting in the work instead of giving them tags to unlock the next legendary, then I think they'd have people who appreciated them a little bit more and would go, you know what, this company's really good. They create a fun game that I enjoy playing. I don't mind spending a little bit of money on it. Now, that's not gonna create whale spenders, but it might create a few more people buying those $10 offers. And all that takes is the dignity and wherewithal to, to go out and do your job well. So, like, if so you're run. a game maker, why don't you just make a good game? That's what it boils down to. Run 7. Now, I, I haven't quite got your opinion on the new Avengers yet. How do you feel yeah, about tried. the new Avengers, Run? Man, when they said Tiger is coming to the game, I'm like, Thundercats aren't part of the Marvel Universe. I had no idea who Tiger was. Tiger's pretty right? rough, dude. P a tiger is pretty deep. Um, all right, Coulson and Mockingbird are awesome because that's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Right, yep. That's yep. dope. That's yep. dope. I'm happy about that. What's up with Yo-Yo and Quake? What's up? What's up? Coulson's on a I team. We just put Coulson back in the meta. How does how does Thing get into this mix? Like this new that? Avenger team doesn't really make any sense to me thematically. I'm not that familiar with the whole new Avengers. I'm more familiar with the West Coast Avengers. And so when they added Thing to it, hold I was hold just up. like, let's, I don't let's get it. I don't want to talk out of my ass. I'm not a comic book expert. I'm just going to do the easiest thing possible. I'm going to type in new 
Avengers. Okay, I'm typing that into Google. <laughs> there you go. A, a picture of thing comes up. Straight up, I'm not fucking with you. A picture of thing comes really? up. Really? Yeah, a picture of thing. Luke Cage, Miss Marvel, Wolverine, and Spider Man. I'm dead ass. Wow. So, so there it's you the go. other four they added to it. Okay. There you go. There I, you I go, don't dude. know. Like, I just wow. it's a, it's, it's a war more, defense so thing, team. Thing, and thing I was is super the right happy one. I get to skip it. <laughs> And now it's a war team, and it's required for the next legendary. Who's the next legendary, Mr. Hargrave? Could you tell us that? Because you're the inside man now. The you're Scopely's number one. You're fucking right here with me. Um, <laughs> uh, I, look, it's all right. I actually, I actually have an answer for you. All right, I can narrow it down. I can narrow okay. with, using our uh, using our powers of deduction because I don't know shit. Let me stress, I don't know a fucking thing. Other than what I can well, tell by looking after, at trends. After the last Strike Time video and the previous blog, we know that they are exploding onto the scene and they are a mm -hmm. highly requested character, which they've said that line plenty of times before. I don't give a fuck about that. So <laughs> what I'm thinking is it's not going to be bio. It's not going to be skill. That's my hope. I hope it's not bio. I hope it's not skill because this is a trait thing for Dark Dimension 6. If you give me another bio, if you give me another skill, it's going to cause me problems because I have, I, I, what I want is either a mutant, a tech, I really want a tech, um, or, or a mystic, right? I want mm -hmm. one of the other traits. Um, so I think, I, I think more likely than a mystic and I don't know, it just doesn't feel right, but I don't know anything. It could definitely be a mystic, but I think we're leaning towards a mutant or a tech. Hopefully we're talking about the tech legendary that's going to fit into the tech um, raid team, which I'm hoping will be a city team. And I'm really hoping the explosive thing is alluding to Green Goblin. That'd be okay. fantastic. I'd be very happy. Well, see, and and I differ from you because I want to skip this team. So I'm hoping it's <laughs> Crossbones cousin Boom Boom. And that it's a tech character that I don't care about on like global or something. And I can skip that legendary as well. But I am worried it's going to be the glider you version of Green Goblin. You can't skip anything, or, run. <laughs> or something kind of cool like MODOK. Or please, Modoc. God, don't let it be a Sentinel because then I'm going to buy the damn team. Uh, it, like, no. I love the Sentinels. And if it's a Sentinel, so. I'm going to lose my shit. I don't think so. Because I, I don't know what that, I mean, like, we do have to pay attention to the explosive thing. And, you know, Green Goblin bombs explosive and has been requested for a long time. Sentinel, perhaps, I don't see it as much. My chat yeah, I don't knows see it as well. requested as much. MODOK's pretty well requested yeah. and could be exploding onto the scene if you consider it. Not like, really. Yeah, I night know. Nightcrawler is a much better Nightcrawler, guess. right? Yeah, yeah. And, and I don't know; those aren't really explosions. Yeah, More that's kind of. Pop. But but also, <laughs> also, it's not like the writers of Marvel Strike Force are that fucking great. So they they could definitely be talking about yeah. Nightcrawler. I think yeah. Green Goblin is probably my best educated. It's kind of what I want the most because I have backed myself into a corner. I'm on City of Dark Dimension Six, and I haven't done enough tech characters. So a whole mm -hmm. city tech team is gonna really uh get the juices flowing for me <laughs> yeah well and so a thing though and somebody said this to me this isn't my own idea because i don't really have good ideas i just steal them from smart people that it, if it is a green goblin glider tech city legendary raid tech team right if it's a raid tech team like Bifrost works pretty well at low stars. Yeah, yeah. You oh, yeah. may not yeah. need to build the new Avengers to yes. unlock this character. Just, just barely yeah. squeak by, get them unlocked. Yep. yep. So that you have the full tech team. Hundred percent. Yeah. No, that that's a good way to look at it too, and that's what I've been thinking as well. I'm like, if it is a tech raid team, this thing's gonna slap at like two stars. Like, don't stress mm -hmm. it. Really, don't stress Marvel Strike Force ever. It's not worth it. I mean, that's a lot of where my attitude comes from and a lot of where I'm kind of out of touch with other content creators at this point. So I wanted to have you in. I feel like you're more in touch with the other content creators because you literally watch them all every day. How are you doing with that? Are you okay? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, I, I've been trying to pivot towards more of the new content creators and, and showcase a lot more of their stuff to get yeah, them you, in the mix because there are some pretty good ideas that aren't being heard. But at the same time, I'm also getting a little tired of some of the big dogs on the scene who just kind of vomit out the same old garbage again and again and again. That's not very interesting. Is that me? Like, I, I want to actually. You've been putting in some some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I wanted to lately. get my performance review from you as well. You've 
you've been reviewing my content. How am I doing these days? My phone in a day. Well, I think you're way more chill. Those vitamins you've been slinging in your advertisements must be working for you. You're pretty yeah, cool. Here these, we go. These are great. Yeah, yeah, these are, <laughs> I've been go. drinking these. I, I didn't really want to. I didn't really want to sponsor these guys in this video because I feel like <laughs> it's a great time to add the sponsorship video because I'm like cursing and stuff and like acting crazy and so I don't I don't normally like to involve a sponsor in this but yeah um, Magic Mind is great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, I was going to build like a little. Of, it's why I make fun of people a little bit. I poke like I I used to poke fun at Tana a lot because <laughs> he would kind of rehash this same old videos of you know speculation and rumor videos and stuff and it was you know a lot of people made the joke that it was just uh, the shotgun effect and everything so i yeah. do kind of like poke everybody a little bit and say hey you know i'm gonna make fun of you and i'm gonna call you out for pulling your punches you guys need to make the best content possible well, so yeah so, so yeah how am i doing don't shy away from it. Let I, me know, Ron. Give it to me. Get uh, uh, hit me in. The I think you're doing great. The, my doing biggest great. problem is is you put a lot of cursing into your videos. I and actually it's hard don't. For me to promote that. You see, you're not you're not listening. Though. Not lately. Yeah, not, not lately. lately. Not lately. Does that have the, anything to do with that spotlight you got? Because I was I made the joke that you had to go back and filter your video for curse words, but I have noticed they they have been a lot less spicy lately. It's, it's, Does that it's, help with the numbers? Kind of toning that down, open it up to a wider audience. No, it has no effect whatsoever. Um, it's an attitude thing. If I feel it, it happens. If I don't, yeah. it doesn't. And, yeah. you know, I think it's healthy for me to be in a spot where I'm uh, running the two YouTube channels chills me the fuck out. I'm busy. I don't got time. Oh, God, I'm so stressed after starting my second channel. Yeah. Oh, I've got time for this. What are you doing on your second channel? Go subscribe I'm covering to Starfield along with 8 million other content creators. How's it going? So, yeah, are, that's are not there going well there? at all. Are there huh? are there views for you there? Are there anything? No, no. not at all. But I, I mean, I'm so, like I'm so deep in the algorithm that no one's gonna find me anytime you soon, see? and I haven't really got the ball rolling. I want to find a good way to make different content for that because everybody's got how to videos, everybody's got reviews and stuff, and it's kind of boring. I want something new. I want to challenge myself to entertain people in that realm without it being completely stupid, like Skibbity Toilet or whatever the kids are watching these days on YouTube. It needs to be actually fun to watch. And so, um, you know, I, I remember the ultimate gamer that I did for Marvel Strike Force. That was fun. And I want to get back to doing characters and stuff. So I think my outlet for Starfield is going to be create some fun characters that do stupid things so people can laugh at me on that. But um, I'm mostly just stressing out because I don't know how to make a video because it's a completely different game, right? Yeah. With with Marvel Strike Force, we can sit, we can literally just stop and talk about Marvel Strike Force. We're doing this, and, and it's this is my doing video. this. This is right. What you it don't is. even have to play the game. You Shit. can just talk about yeah. it. You know, we've had content creators that quit playing Marvel Strike Force and continue to stream Marvel Strike Force for months. And so <laughs> it's a whole different field with with Starfield because you kind of have to play that game and somehow entertain chat so it's tricky it's tricky great and game though really fun game it's just you know it. i gotta different. check it out but i'm in such a weird spot man if you do too good at youtube you can't afford to play you can't afford to play games that don't like draw in revenue like i i gotta right. look at every game as a business decision it's really weird yeah. it's really weird that's like I, trying five working out for you what's that all about <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I skipped that one because it wasn't MSF, Everybody but I was kind of curious one. about it. I almost clicked on that Everybody. one. Well, so. that, that's called supplier relations. Okay. T oh, I see. Okay. THQ okay. was like, would you like to do this? And I'm like, yes, I'll do anything for you, THQ. <laughs> a little back scratching. Yeah, okay, that, I get it. That's all that is. And you know, a lot of us do that shit because it's just like, yeah. Or, I mean, a lot of us should do that shit. I don't know if everybody does. I always do that yeah. shit because you never know. It's about who you know, right? And right. They might just plug your video and ooh, suddenly that gets five K no. views out of nowhere yes. and now you're playing trying five. And that's only yeah, that's what I'm doing with boundless. Like people don't get it wrong, guys. I don't love predatory game companies. I'm just like, yeah, fuck, you know, let, let's right. play the game and do the you saw me get featured in, in the game. I don't know, did right. you did you check out what happened to my numbers? That's a good thing to happen. That's right, fucking amazing. Right. Yeah, it, it's good. bad that that is only coming around once a month right now because yeah. that just r can really get somebody's platform really, to take really off. Helpful, really helpful. So, yeah. I mean, if uh, you think about it, there's like, I don't know, 30 envoys or something. So I'm looking at sometime in 2025 when I get my shot at the spotlight. 
And by then, I might be on to other things. You've got I don't your know. spotlight right now, Ron. This video has the potential to hit 5,000 hey, people. You've been my number one supporter, Mr. Hargrave. You, like you launched you. my career in content creation. No joke. Seriously, I probably Thank wouldn't you. be where I was if, if you hadn't to pick me up early back when we were in the non-voice together. I, I, I appreciate that, sir. A lot of people forget that I launched them into super fame, and then they shit, <laughs> then they <laughs> shit on me from above. Super fame by any means. Yeah. Well, you're not big enough to shit on me. If you, you get big enough, you'll... You'll shit on me. It's, it's a thing. But, uh, That's right. I watch my tone when I'm in the presence of Hargrave. <laughs> nah, um, no, I, I did want to give you a tip about YouTube, something I've learned over the last three years. And anybody else who's aspiring to do YouTube, the one thing I've learned about YouTube that's true no matter what I'm doing, it's about supply. Don't quit your day job. No, well, nah, yeah. And <laughs> it's about supply and demand. You got to look for where there's a need. Like, that's why you're struggling right now with this uh, star. Star field. Field. Star, yeah. yeah it, it, I'm, I'm doing saturated. the same thing everybody else is doing. And, yeah. But, so, but even more I than that. I'm start making a recap for Starfield because, hey, it worked in Marvel Strike Wars. I can do it for Starfield. And so I do that. And that actually helps because there's so much content out for that game. And if you can sift through a lot of that yeah. crap, it saves people some time. Cool. Plus, I can start making fun of those content creators as well. And maybe they'll get pissed off and uh, and that'll make me, you know, plummet through the rankings. I don't know. Hey, it, it, I just want to get can to the work. point where my hobby pays for itself. It you know, can, it can I, work. I actually pissed off a very big uh, wrestling content creator and I just had him on my channel yesterday. No shit? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I instigated him. <laughs> All right. Way to fuck with the big guys, man. <laughs> no, actually, it, it was really funny how it happened because I, it didn't work that way. Um, he actually found one of my lesser watched videos independently. Oh, yeah? I had shit on him the day after. <laughs> <laughs> but he first found a toy hunt video. I go out with my kids and I go buy toys like a man baby. And mm -hmm. he saw that and he really liked it. And then the next, and like, I don't know, maybe he talked about me or something. And someone was like, did you see the video where he shits on you? <laughs> <laughs> but he was Poor a good sport a about take, it. Like, what the? <laughs> but he's a good sport about it. And I actually removed the video because I'm like, you know what? I was me. <laughs> like, it was a little far. Yeah. But, you know, it's like you got to rattle the cages. You got to make noise. Right. So, yeah, I mean, and, and some, some people got me twisted like that. They're like, Mr. Hargrave's a fucking demon. Or, I don't have to talk to these people. The people that are this far into this video know who the fuck I am, and they don't have mm -hmm. a problem with me. Like, my audience yeah. doesn't have a problem. The people that hear shit about me, they get a problem about me. But the people who have been here for, like, three fucking years, they don't, they don't have a fucking right. issue. Like, they're all, like, right now, like, Mr. Hargrave's the only one that gets math? Fuck yeah, boys. Like, they don't get Because <laughs> they know my num my like, my, my delivery and my, the way I'm delivering this information, I don't worry about, like, you're saying, like, oh, I'm, I'm worried I put this out and misled people. Like, everything I deliver, I deliver as, this is what I think I'm going to do. And then I'm putting out a follow-up video on the day of the event. I'm checking the math. Like, mm -hmm. this is a projection. It's very clear yeah, when I put out a video. Not many other people are putting out a follow-up video. Unless, I follow like, up like there was the other day, Valley Flying put out a video. Then they changed the information. He pulled the video, put it back up. Then they changed the information. He ran a retraction. They changed the information again, and he ran another video. Like, it was terrible. I felt so bad. He had to put so much effort into just trying to get accurate information to the community. And I don't do Scopely, that. That's on Scopely, you know? I don't do that. And that is on Scopely. And he's doing his job in that. But that's you're cool. doing a follow-up video follow to up. make sure that yeah. what they told you is what's happening in game so the players can continue to do the right thing and transparently i'm just showing you what i'm doing which is funny when people are like criticize me they're like he spends millions of dollars or whatever they he's a fucking crack and i'm like i'm literally showing you every transaction i will mm -hmm. show you everything i do i've tried to be like i've tried to buy something on the side and like not show it and then i'll be making a video and i'll be like i bought this the other day <laughs> <laughs> like, right. I wasn't going to tell well, you. Well, <laughs> I mean, if you try, like, I've even thought about doing that, too, because I'm I'm not spending on the game, and yeah. I want to remain free to play, yeah, yeah. at least for the foreseeable future. And then there will be, like, that beta rate bill offer I talked about. Something like that yeah. will come along. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, there's going to be somebody lurking in my chat, and they're going to see that when I'm scrolling through my roster, and they'll be like, where'd you get those 15 shards from? And I'll be caught red-handed. I'll feel all guilty and everything. So, yeah, I, I'd have yeah. to admit everything admit I it. spend in the game. You admit it. And, and it's a story. I like the story you just told about that cost benefit. I mean, I've done those analysis as well. Honestly, I've been buying those things because I've been in a couple yeah. of those positions. I got Big Boy Apocalypse like, a couple of weeks after the Krakens because I bought a offer for like Bucky and got that like double dip error um, 
the Invaders showcase. It mm-hmm. was like 3 million ISO 5 or whatever, like twice. Oh, wow. That got me Big Apocalypse for 30 bucks. I literally paid 30 mm-hmm. bucks. Some of these Krakens were dropping like 3,000. I dropped 30. I'm like, I'll admit that. <laughs> well, if yeah, I did that. Added value to it by <laughs> it puts you over a certain threshold, yeah. which then has a cascade of events and 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 milestones that's coming your way, yeah. and it starts to stack up. Then you're like, okay, that ten bucks is worth more than just those fifteen shards. And I want to tell the so, people playing that I don't think it's unreasonable. I think people playing Marvel Strike Force shouldn't be hand to mouth. If you're hand to mouth, this probably isn't sh- the game yeah, right, for you. Like, right. You should right. be spending on this game in yeah. a way that you feel comfortable with. Yeah. And, and if you feel uncomfortable spending on the game in the slightest, then you shouldn't. That's why I stopped spending. I quit my job and moved uh, to take care of my kids. I'm no longer bringing in an income. And so I quit spending on Marvel Strike Force because I couldn't justify that expense. Before, I made decent income. And so I spent 100 to $200 a month on the game. I felt fine with that. Yeah. The minute I quit my job is the minute I quit spending on Marvel Strike Force. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and then, like, we got to realize, like, people that criticize this stuff heavily tend to fail to like point out like how much things cost in the world to begin with. Like I'm going out to dinner. It's like a hundred dollar bill. Like every time for a family of four, like, Oh like, man, groceries are killing me. Like, yeah. Like what it's the fuck? Like, everything's fucking expensive, dude. Like, yeah. Really. And you know, you, you, it, some people spending on Marvel strike force in like the, the mid range, it can come down to, well, I don't eat out anymore. I'm on a fucking strict diet. I, I do not, which has been me for a period. I've definitely justified spending on Marvel Strike Force by being like, I'm miserable. I'm not, e- I'm eating like rice cakes and like, uh, and, and boiled chicken. I ride an exercise bike for two hours a day. Yeah, I spend 20 bucks on Marvel Strike Force daily. I don't give a fuck. I've been in that position mm-hmm. because it's like, what am I doing? I'm playing this game on my exercise. I had to lose a bunch of weight for an REM tribute band. <laughs> oh, okay. I was determined to rice be... cakes and boiled chicken. That does not sound like fun. I, I, it wasn't that bad, but it was pretty bad. And uh, <laughs> I was determined to be 140 pounds because Michael Stipe was 140 pounds. Uh, that's not very realistic for me. But uh, you're a very interesting man, Mr. Hargrave. I'm crazy. I'm out of my fucking. Mind. I shaved my head too. <laughs> Did you know that before? I a lot of people know this. It's a bit of Mr. Hargrave lore. My head was entirely bald like a few months before I made my first YouTube video. Oh, see, I remember the first time I saw you, I think it was with Valley Flying, and I could see your ears. Yeah, it was was short hair. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. definitely. And it grew out. I I haven't really cut it since. I I, I need to go to a stylist. Do you get your hair done? Like, who does your hair? How do you handle it? Most of the time, I shave my head, and then in the wintertime, I start growing it out, and I just go to my barber. His name's Kyle, and he cuts my hair, and I don't really think about it. I'm fucked. I got this whole, like, image, and I don't know how to maintain it. I don't know what to do. It's, it's I don't know. Weird. I was going to send Mobile Gamer a bottle of beard oil because he grew his beard out I and he does that. like I do. And he's always touching his beard and everything, you know. So I was going to bring him a bottle of, of of beard oil. Let him try that out. Hold everything. Uh, the chat has a question. Hold everything. Is okay. Captain America worth 150 gold promos? Captain America? Captain on the America. Rebirth team? Ca- yes. Uh... Stop everything. This is more important. I mean, they're flooding the market with gold promos. They really are. So I, they really I'd are. say, you know, it's kind of dealer's choice. Are you using a team? Do you enjoy the team? Yeah, it exactly. probably wouldn't kill you to go ahead and do it. He's a good tank. Where's your Peggy at? If your Peggy's really small, she's going to get killed anyway. Don't bother. Yeah. But I, I think if you've got a great big Peggy, you could get a big Captain America. The only reason I'm okay with this idea, normally I'd say, no, 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 no. He's not, he's definitely not, he's not meta. He's not worth it. He's not the, the most important place, but they're flooding the market they with really gold are. promos these days. And I think they're pushing all of us to start putting red stars on everywhere in our roster. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Captain America is good. Uh, good Dark Dimension 6 uh, take as well. Um, I like. Yeah, I think I'm bringing him to say it, it, It's either Sick. him or Titania. I can't remember if I subbed him I out did Titania both. or not. I did both. Um, I think Captain America is definitely more value. I think you're going to get a little more out of Captain America, but Titania is good too because that um, Nova Scourge, it doesn't go away. The Nova Scourge right. you keep and it gets harder. Once you get mm-hmm. seven stars on Nova, you have to get 2.2 million points on that thing. And without a huge Masters of Evil, that's really tough to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, you kind of need a gigantic Masters of Evil. You need a gigantic Nowhere and Now run 
as you know, buddy, you need a gigantic new Avengers. Well, are you happy about I'm gonna that? wait. I'm gonna you wait like and that? see. No, you do. I'm gonna see if there's somehow nah. I can I can nah. skirt by. Nah. No, you well, can't. Hey, the, the a lot of people were saying that you could get by with just building a large Nova and then using Sinister Six because nah. Nova's kind of the wrecking nah. crew of that team. No, nah, you can't. But there's no way to do that with nah. the new Avengers because they're nah. all needed no, and. You can't. Do you think that they switched them to war offense also because of they wanted to use them in the in the the trials and the the modifiers? Do you think they switched that so they could is, or do you think that they did that to help with the people like me who hate the team and they were trying to cushion the blow a little bit by giving them that? I'm not sure. Little little column A, little column B. But look, uh, what I'm yeah. saying, run. Whether you do it for this run, whether you do it for the next run, at some point. You have to build Masters of Evil. You have to build Nowhere, and you have to build New Avengers to very high levels. Eventually, I don't know how long it's going to take, because once you get seven stars, you got to hit like 2.2 million points on these things. Well, if you want here's, get... a, here's the problem that they're creating for themselves or, by or, allowing or, New Avengers. Hold up, hold up. I also want, let me say this real quick, or you don't have to give a fuck at all, and you can just play this game super casual and fuck this game. That's, That's right. That's also always an option. You do not have to play this game like Mr. Hargrave. <laughs> That's right. If you're a fan of OG Falcon, take him to the moon and enjoy. Fuck it. Have uh, fun. Punisher I all the they, way. They may be creating a problem for themselves with the new Avengers by switching them to war hmm. offense also, because normally they'll create a problem for us to solve, right? Yeah. They had new Avengers on defense, and that was going to be a really tough team to get yeah. through, but nowhere could kind of beat them, and that was about it. And so it kind of pigeonholed you, and you kind of need something else to help crack that shell. But now... They're going to be used on offense, and I think that they're pretty valuable on offense in war, and I think we're going to have a lot of offensive tools now, and people who build that team are going to be able to flex around and do some different stuff in war. Hey, hold and on, so hold on, hold on. what's going to happen? They're going to need to build a new war defense team to soak up all these attackers. All right, all right. First off. What level of war do you play? Do you play against like the top 50 alliances? Uh, my alliance says I have to do 10 attacks and I don't care where. So right. I just look for the flight deck but and here, just punch here, down and get here, them done. Here's a misconception people mm -hmm. have about war. You think that Boundless gives a shit about anything outside of the top 50 war alliances. No, true? they don't. They, they don't. absolutely That's don't. That's all that But matters. those people are going to be crying and 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 they're going to they're going to or actually they're going to be laughing because they have all these opportunities to attack with all these offensive teams. And so Boundless is going to go, "Well, we can't have that. We need to pigeonhole these people and take away their agency." I don't know. And they're well, going to put out, you know, Heroes for Hire 2.0 or whatever crappy cheesy mechanic they put into war defense here, here, and here, then here. we're going to have to buy another team. Well, here's the thing. I don't know what they're dealing with. Like I I hesitate to speak on this because I don't really know. I I we match top 50 alliances and I've mm -hmm. seen their defenses. They're fine. They're yeah. absolutely fine. Because at the top 50, dude, everything's seven red. Everything's gear eight. It's disgusting. And right. so, like, they live in a different world than than we do, right? I get to see oh, yeah. that world. I don't, ex I don't, I can't deal with it. Like, I know that it's right. way out of You're my You're looking it through the window at yeah. it, yeah. I get to see it, and I see how nuts it is. So, like, we'd have to ask a guy like Dorky Dad what the war meta is like with this. He would have better insight into that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. For me, I'm happy that they're war offense because I that's I've always been full war offense for what five four years. As long as war as long as war existed, my advice has been fuck defense, go all offense, and just win your attacks. It used to be win fast. Now it's win efficiently. It's even better. Right. Uh, so just win efficiently, yeah. win your attacks, one shot. I'm in a position shot. where as long as our alliance full clears, we tend to have a winning record during war. Perfect. Because more often than not, we'll come across an alliance that'll stumble at the end and leave a few unattacked rooms because somebody didn't show up. There you go, man. And Lucky so day. all we have to do is just make sure we full clear every time, and it's pretty good. That's dope. But I'm, I, I all right. do uh, wish uh, that what's they your made alliance? Coulson's kit a little bit better. I'd like uh, to join your alliance. Love and Thunder. Okay, I'm Love and Thunder I, from the AllSpark uh, put, put my application in. <laughs> <laughs> I do wish they would do something with Colson's kit. I don't know. They may have changed it by now, but I was thinking like outside of war, Colson's passive was completely blank or something ridiculous. Like like everything he's got going on is a is a war passive or something like that. It was kind of ridiculous. There was some stuff going on with that team. And I just think they're absolute trash outside of war. And we have to build them. And I'm not that excited about war right now. 
Um, I do like some of the subtle changes they've made into war recently. I think they're trying and they're doing some good stuff there. Oh At my least God. they're shaking it up a little bit. It only took them four years to figure out how to make war fucking palatable. Good job, guys. Yeah. Pat them on yeah. the fucking what do you think? Back. What do you think about the Black Order rework that Thanos is empowered without all the team there. like he's less cookie cutter but did are they did they say they're going to give him any kind of a boost to stats or make him do anything different what <laughs> allegedly <laughs> yeah in the strike time video they said oh they said, okay uh, okay i didn't watch it yet i didn't know this was oh out. oh you haven't watched the strike time video yet no. oh man you're gonna miss out there we just so. we had to go live um so they they talk about the thanos rework in the video they talk about the Thanos rework. I wasn't really paying attention to it. I just <laughs> caught that he may get empowered on some sort of level without the full team. So they're just, they're just like shit posting now. <laughs> they're like, ah, we're thinking that Thanos could get empowered or shit or whatnot. Uh, anyways, well, guys, I, I, I like it. They were really gonna go, and maybe I miss. I was kind of talking with chat when it was going on, but uh, uh, I was <laughs> thinking that they would put a little bit more effort into it. So don't take my word for it. Go watch the Strike Time video I or did. don't. And. And leave a comment in Mr. Hargrave's video down below about your thoughts on the Black Order because um, uh, I haven't brought you yesterday's news today. I haven't really paid attention to it. I'll probably go back and rewatch that. But Mr. Nice Hargrave, time, I've been streaming for like four hours and now I had this lovely interview with you and I'm about to wet my pants, so I kind of got to go. Sounds good, sir. Well, thanks for <laughs> dropping in. You certainly helped me kill time this week because as you know, there's no gameplay in Marvel Strike Force, so we have to make up our own right. drama and stories and rage quit on Twitch and, you know, <laughs> do all that kind of shit. I mean, I think that's what it really comes down to. It's just that we're fucking bored. We're just fucking bored. Could be. Could be. You can come play Starfield with me. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm busy uh, watching a lot of professional wrestling. I watch a lot yeah. of professional wrestling, yeah. yeah I like it. Yeah. So that works Do out. that. Go shopping with your kids for some more toys. You that's got a lot funny. of knickknacks on those back shelf. I like that. I have more, shelf that, more shelves that are out of frame now that are disgustingly full as well. That I'm going to show mm, at some point nice, on the nice. second channel, guys, go check out that second channel. I keep telling these people to go check out the second channel, but they're like, no, we're addicted to Marvel strike force. <laughs> like, it's no, right the, like the, the title, title. <laughs> the title of your video is accurate. Motherfucker. We're not watching anything else you do. We don't give a fuck about trying five. <laughs> and unfortunately they don't give a fuck about, you know, your star warrior thing either. I, 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 I tell them to go check it out, but. Oh yeah, don't worry about that. It's not even up and running. It'll I mean it's it took me years to get going game. in Marvel Strike Force. It'll take me years to get it's going in actual, Starfield. But it's an and there's actual a lot of hype to build fun. and to beat and stuff. It's fun though. What you're doing is fun. Why don't these people I like really fun? enjoy playing the game and I like it's challenging myself to making new content. It's a good game. I'm not any good at it right now. If you go to the channel, you'll be like, wow, that's not anything. And that's okay. I'll get there eventually. No, so. I I wanted to tell you that as well. I wanted to encourage you. Always push your boundaries. I've failed a lot on this channel doing content mm -hmm. that is not Marvel Strike Force, but every time I've done it, I've gained skills and exactly. I get better. And that's why I have a second channel that works right. because I kept pushing myself. I'm like, let me do a game review. Let me do a, a reaction video. Let me do an interview. Let me just try to mm -hmm. learn this uh, thing, whether it be technology with and OBS. And it's okay or to look at other content creators and try yeah. and mimic what they're doing. Absolutely. But don't get lost being the mirror image of people. You've got to find your own voice and do your own thing, but you can <laughs> practice their skills, right? Like I've tried doing some of the things that you do <laughs> and I learned a lot from it, but I found that I don't like doing hardly any of the things that you are your own persona and do your own thing you're really good at it and like i i always tell people i'm like i disagree with 90 percent of the stuff that mr hargrave says and does but i still think he's a fantastic content creator yes, <laughs> you know so it's good to try and mimic other people and learn those skills but eventually you do have to find your own voice so you can make your content there you go, sir. All right. I think those yeah. are good final words. Let's get you out of here before you wet yourself. All right, everybody, you know where to find Run7. The address has been up here the whole time. His links will be down below. Go like and subscribe, you motherfuckers. I swear to God, you guys don't do shit for me. Go do this. All right. Thank you, Run. I got to go. Mr. Hargrave. I, I got to go. Grave diggers. Keep digging. Keep digging, guys. When will they make Kang farable? I am pushing so hard for Kang to be farable, and I think that I'm close, allegedly subject to change. Don't give up on Kang yet. I haven't. Number one combo guy in the motherfucking business. Thank you, sir. 
Uh, yes, Mr. Hargrave might be the... Look, I don't want to start up any kind of rumor that I'm going to be the only guy who gets the fucking charts. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it was good timing for uh, two envoys to talk about the envoy program <laughs> with Mobile Gamer uh, leaving in a huff. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know. that. That's wild. I yes I I yeah I, I saw Mobile Gamer talking about my team or I heard that he was talking about my team that's that's dope. If I have an attack I'll show it to you. You guys want to see my attack? Uh that's not what I wanted. This one right here. Oh, I got to pull it up. Where is Marvel Strike Force? Yeah, I'm still using that arena team. It works amazingly well. I can show you on a big team too. We got Titania today. Oh, she's actually farmable today? Yeah, it's, it's, I'm, um, you know, look, I, I don't know. Like they said in the blog, more information will be available next week on what's going on with the charts and that kind of stuff. Um, more information might become available tomorrow. I honestly don't know. More information is not available to me yet. I wish I could just be very transparent with you and tell you what's going on, but I can't even do that. Uh, not right now, though, yes, but Titania and Union Jack are going to be farmable, and I don't think that changes my beginner advice, which is unfortunate. I was hoping. They did say that more was coming, so maybe when more is coming, when more happens... I'm hoping that it will change my beginner advice because goddamn, my beginner video is getting old. Um, this blitz wasn't working. Is that fixed now? Let's see. What was I looking for? Oh, I was looking for energy to make sure I don't need to. No, I'm all capped out on energy. Okay. I'm good on that milestone. And okay, nothing, nothing interesting there. I'll have to run that blitz some other time. It doesn't really matter. Okay, arena. Let's see. Do I? I don't have any attacks left. Do you want me to buy one for the content? I'll buy one for the content. I'll do it for you because I love you guys so much. It's just, it's fucking 10 of you left. You see, that kind of shit bothers me, man. I'm sitting here. I'm willing to drop 25 whole cores to show you an attack and, and 10 of you just bounce on me. That's disrespectful. Rebirth is currently farmable, kinda, but not for like new players, for like what, level 60? I don't know, I don't know. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go ahead and do one attack. Let me make sure I got the right guy. I like this guy. Fire is over here. So this is a pretty big fucking team. It's 1.8 million, it's secret defenders and apocalypse, you know, just like in the comics. And uh, this is my offense team. Uh, I have subbed out Ghost Rider for Kang since the last video. And I'm uh, pretty happy with this. I do have a big ass black cat now, though. My black cat is now uh, six yellow, five red. So that does make things easier. This was working, though, even at lower levels. This was working at lower levels. So let's go through here and it's still it's still the same weak Spider-Man, um, a big time Spider-Man. He's tier 12, level 65, no tier fours. And all you have to do is land that disrupt on hard light, land the disrupt on hard light and then you win. Basically, that's all there is to it. I like to lower speed on Apocalypse with the hard light ultimate. So take down that speed bar. Black Cat's going to come through. She's going to stun Hard Light. That's not a big deal. I like Big Time Spider-Man right behind Hard Light because then all the splash damage goes nowhere, which is really cool. So it kind of nerfs them out. I Then you have to stun Miss Marvel Hard Light. This is the hardest part. Your Black Cat needs to land this stun. If you don't land this stun, you are hosed. So land that stun. My Black Cat doesn't have a problem. Like I said, she's big. So that's easy. And then I like to ability block Apocalypse. 
So I like to take this ability block from Ghost Rider and land it on Apocalypse. That's a little safety measure that I've developed. So throw the ability block on him, then throw... Now, I do have Empowered Apocalypse. You can do this without Empowered Apocalypse, but Empowered Apocalypse works even better because now I can just delete their Black Cat. The hardest prop, uh, problem with this is Black Cat. So if you can delete her with your Apocalypse, I wasn't able to do it. That sucks. Normally, I can just one-shot out that Black Cat. Here, I wasn't able to do it. It's still going to be okay, but one-shotting that Black Cat is a huge help because she's kind of the most... She's the one that's going to stay alive the longest and give you the most problems. Watch me take a loss on this. I don't, I don't think I'm going to take a loss on this. It's usually okay right here. I got to pick my kill. I'm going to kill Photon with Black Cat. Oh, oh, I might lose. I might take a loss here, man. This guy got me. It's because I didn't kill that black cat. I got like whole new problems developing in this video. Oh my God. My arena sucks. Now I want to try it again to see if that was just bad luck or what. What? How big is his black cat? The fuck was that? I'm trying to show off over here to, you know, about 100 people, and you're going to do that to me, Marvel Strike Force? You bastard. How big was that black cat? What am I looking at there? She's almost 400K. Oh, he got the seven star on her. That's the problem, isn't it? I got to do it. I'm going to do it one more time. For the content, boys, we're doing it one more time. I'm going to keep that in mind. She has to die. Dude, that's crazy. I guess I could build a bigger big time Spider-Man. I do not want to do that. I do not want a bigger big time Spider-Man. This is nuts. Dude's got a 7-5 black cat. What the fuck? My arena shard. Boy, it's harsh. All right, here we go. Disrupt and defense down on hard light. Good start. Boy, this is ugly. That's the first time I've lost with this team, by the way. And... I'm going to put the speed down right here in the middle. Nah, I'm going to stick with that. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah, that wouldn't have helped me. Wouldn't have helped me. You want to control the apocalypse. He's the important one. And the hard light, too. H controlling hard light's important as well. All right, here we come in. You got to stun hard light. Uh, yeah, you got to stun hard light. There's no options. There's, like, not a lot of variables in this fight, things I can change. It's still ability block on apocalypse. Still ability block on apocalypse. It's still ultimate with Apocalypse. Yeah, I'm changing nothing. I'm just hoping to get luckier. I don't think his basic is going to take her out. No, I didn't get her. I'm just, my Apocalypse is, can I, I can't raise, my Apocalypse can't get bigger. I need red stars on Apocalypse. That's the only thing that's going to help. Okay, a bigger Ghost Rider would help too. My God. All right, I'm going to go for Black Cat with my own Black Cat. But if I let Ghost Rider take a turn, he's going to... Oh, man, I can't let Apocalypse take a turn. My Apocalypse is going to go. I can kill that Apocalypse with my Apocalypse. I got to take out this Ghost Rider. Or at least try. Oh, my God. I'll go down the middle with my Apocalypse, hoping to kill their Apocalypse. I didn't kill their Apocalypse. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why did you ask me to do this, chat? All right. Well, I got problems. <laughs> I got destroyed. <coughs> that is now a tomorrow heart rate problem. <clears throat> tomorrow, I'm going to be like, fuck you, Friday heart grave. Wow. Wow. 
It's a seven. It's oh, it's a six red hard light. It's a six red Ghost Rider. Wow, wow. I'm not big enough. I am not strong enough. I can put level 95 on Ghost Rider and hopefully he can survive. No, it's no worries. It's that's my arena shard, man. That's why I build as uh, my characters as big as I do. My arena teams always get stupid big because this is what I deal with. I've been dealing with this for five years. That's my shard. So yeah, there's my secret defender team. Um, not much else I can do to it, man. I've even got ISO 5 on everything. No, I'm, I need to have a bigger Ghost Rider before I try again. And cheaper arena hits. And then, yeah, I think what I really need is... What I really, truly need... Is the fifth red star on Apocalypse. Fifth red star on Apocalypse solves all this. I don't know when we're going to get that. But that's what I need. Because I, I can't go any bigger with Apocalypse. So... I'm going to need the fifth red star. That's what it comes down to. Are we ready to read this blog? I think we should read this. This blog isn't going to take long. Do I have to watch the strike time video? How mean are you guys going to be to me tonight? I don't, have to, I don't have to listen to that shit, do I? I will like, I'll fast forward through it. Are they going to show Empowered Apocalypse or do they just talk about them? I don't have to, a video is useless. It's really bad. I don't want to watch it. I don't want, I want to. I'm not trying. Look, guys, I'm the only envoy you have left. Okay? <laughs> I think Run can read it to us tomorrow. They just talk about it? Boring. All right, let's go ahead and start up the show. They don't show it. Yeah, well, you know, pictures or it doesn't exist, right? Pictures or it doesn't exist. That's how I feel about it. All right, there's my beautiful ninja. I hope you like my... Gen Doesn't he look generic? I don't like the design of Ronin. I think he looks stupid. This is a cool thumbnail, though. Do you get? Does anyone get this reference? This is a very... If you ever went to a video store in the 90s, you might get this reference. I'm not going to say the name. Somebody's got to put it down in the comments. I think he's a very generic look. I don't like Ronan in this game. I do not like his character design. He looks very, very basic. It's not exciting. I hope his animations are good. Do you? Did you get it? I don't know. If, I mean, I. it was probably called a lot of things, quite honestly. Ninja 2 might have been one of the things it was called. But let me know down in the comments below. The original Japanese name, please. All right, that's it. Let's go play some Dark Dimension, right? I still got time. We can play Dark Dimension. You guys want to play Dark Dimension 6 or Dark Dimension 5? I can do City on Dark Dimension 5 with the new characters. I'm going to start with Dark Dimension 6 because you guys don't type fast enough. And it's probably going to go fast. So I'm in Cosmic now. I, I said I would give you guys an update. In the last video, I thought I was going to make it to the Cosmic node, but I didn't. Um, I beat global. Uh, do you guys want the recap? Is that what makes sense? Is it time to recap this? Oh, get rid of this. Get out of here. You? All right, there it is. Um, I'll show you how many attacks. I'm not going to run down the teams again. You can see the teams. Four attacks on the first node. Five attacks on the second node. Six attacks on the first global. Twelve attacks on the second. And twelve attacks on the third. On the first cosmic node so far, we have done five attacks. Let's see. I, I hope I can beat this. I think there's a very good chance that I could beat this. Let's see. Rain Dragon, you know how we feel about suggesting that people watch other content creators while I'm making content. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Really? Really? Should we really go watch that? Are you saying that I should go watch it? Dude, you're not trying to get me in that kind of trouble, are you? I don't think I should watch that. I don't, I don't need that drama in my life. I just like to pretend that other content creators don't exist unless they want to come on my show. 
Like my policy has been, I don't talk about them unless they're here. Right? Like if somebody wants to come on my show and talk to me about their, you know, problems with the blog or whatever, I mean, we can call them up and do that. So yeah. How good is it? Yeah. I got people in here. You know what? Don't. You're making me screw up this attack. I'd be doing better at this attack if you weren't distracting me. What the hell's going on? I blame you. I blame you, chat. I screwed up. I would have quit that. I would have done that over again. Type in this nonsense. Why are people so mad at New Avengers? That's the game we play, guys. Are you guys still mad about Scarlet Witch? Like, calm the hell down. What are you doing? I'm so upset about New Avengers. Why? Why? Stop playing the game. Get over it. What's your problem? Why live that way? What do you get out of that? Is that working for you? I don't understand it. Can, can anyone explain to me why we hate... Like, like a real reason why we don't like it. Not this, oh, they look like they suck. No, like a real reason. Because we build crap teams all the time. Is It's the name? We're upset at the name? New Secret Avenger Defense? I mean, whatever. They, they uh, Whatever they call it. I don't, uh, that, that's not a real thing, is it? We're not just mad that they, about the naming convention, are we? Are we really mad that it that it's a um, I mean, I'm kind of look, I'm low key upset that it's not an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. team. I've wanted an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. team in this game for five years and I've never got it. And so, yeah, I'm a little salty about that. I will agree to that. But we build bad teams all the time to win the game. You build new Avengers to win the game. One of the things I was going to say tonight, which I don't know if I'm going to say now because honestly, I've said enough, is I'm going to build Ronan to tier 18. I did the math. He's a skill city character. He goes to tier 18. I don't know what would have to happen for him not to go to tier 18, but I'm taking Ronan to tier 18. So I'm like, I'm not mad. Great, now he has some uses. Now I can go unlock a legendary with my tier 18 Ronin that I'm building because they don't want to put good skill characters in this game. I mean, is that what we're mad about? Is that they're not better skill characters? Are we mad that it's not another mutant team? Do you really think we can handle another five new mutants right now with the fucking amount of mutant gear that we don't have? We need a tech team. Are we mad that it's not a tech team? Are we mad that they're not... Don't worry, they're, they're going to force you to build the tech team as well. Don't worry. They'll get around to it. It looks like a... You, that doesn't... I said an, a reason that isn't dumb like that one. This, this reason is dumb. I'm trying to tell you this. A useless team we have to build for a legendary. That's a non sequitur. That's nonsense. It's not useless if it unlocks a legendary. I mean, we could have got mad about that um, years ago. They've always done that. That's Marvel Strike Force. It's par for the course. When have we not had to build a useless team for a legendary? That's why we build useless teams. Violent Mind is with me on this. I'm mad that Yo-Yo and Quake aren't on the team. That's valid. I'll get mad with you on that one. I'll get right pissed about that. I will get extremely upset that Yo-Yo and uh, and Quake are not on this team. That's very upsetting. I was upset about having to build a subpar team when I really need to be building Secret Defenders. Why, are, why aren't you building Secret Defenders? Well, don't build it instead of Secret Defenders, goddammit. Build Secret Defenders. There's an order of things. You build Secret Defenders first. Why the fuck would you build this Instead, who the fuck is telling you to build this over Secret Defenders? I'm literally showing you how great Secret Defenders are right now. No one has told you to do that. Build Secret Defenders 
before you do anything else. Build secret defenders before you take your next shit. How can I make it any more clear to you that secret defenders is the only priority team in this game and that you should build nothing else? I am going to show it all week that secret defenders is the best goddamn team in this game and has is going to be the best team that has been in this game since the release of Darkhold. Secret defenders are stupid good. So yeah, and you're going to need to build secret defenders for the fucking trial as well. Like, where are you thinking that you don't need to build, build secret defenders? On what planet do you think that secret defenders will not be entirely or partially required to go get the next legendary as well? They will both be required. The answer is both things, my dear. I didn't want the thing. I was hoping for an F4 rework with Doom or Surfer. <laughs> I mean, look, Fantastic Four is better now because the thing is better. So if you want to build Fantastic Four, now the thing will be really good on it. We, we, I, I mean, where would that come from? When has Marvel Strike Force ever made sense? Where did you think that all of a sudden this year, Marvel Strike Force... And wait, you motherfuckers asked... Did you also ask, did you specifically ask for theory crafting in this game? I never asked for theory crafting in this game. So I get to bitch about that. I get to bitch about no about this the bullshit that's going down now that is basically called theory crafting. And that's where they take random team members and throw them together. That's theory crafting, boys. Teams that don't make sense is literally theory crafting. You're Arena meta right now is theory crafted because you fucking asked for it. I didn't. I don't know who specifically in this chat asked for it, but I know some of you did. Look how fucking badass Robbie Reyes is. That's what I want to tell you. Look how fucking badass Robbie Reyes is. That's all I care about right now. That's the, build that. Do that. Win the game. Badass Robbie Reyes. God damn, he's a badass. That's like single-handedly the best character that's ever... I'm so glad that Robbie Reyes is like the best character in this fucking game right now. I think that's dope as shit. It's about fucking time Ghost Rider became goddamn meta. We should all be happy right now. Ghost Rider's meta. Rejoice. Ghost Rider and Mr. Hartgrave have become meta. It's about fucking time. This is a great day. I would never quit Marvel Strike Force today. I would quit tomorrow. Robbie did take way too long to get here. I've been mentally theory crafting Robbie Reyes now for three years. There was one point where there was this rumor that we were getting an RR. Or like a... I don't know. I think it was like that. It was like, yeah, a Bobby or something. I, it ended up being Iceman. But the rumor had me thinking very strongly that it was going to be Robbie Reyes. And it finally is. So we are in the dawning of the Mr. Hartgrave era, the Robbie Reyes era. All rejoice. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Addicted to Marvel Strike Force. I certainly enjoyed. Did you show up late and start bitching about the tables? I was going to end the program. There's still too many people here. There you go. His character. Wait. Oh, man. Now you got me more pissed. Robbie Reyes was a very important member of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Why are we getting Coulson? Coulson, Mockingbird, Robbie Reyes, Quake, Yo-Yo? Fuck you. Fuck you. It's here, but it's not a team. I'm so upset. Wait, it's actually fucking here. It's all the pieces are in place, but it's, it doesn't exist. It's a, this is horrible. <laughs> he doesn't have shield tags. He doesn't work with, Colson at all, does he? Colson and Ghost Rider shift synergy. 
Why have they done this to me? This is horrible. I mean, are they not a fan of the show? I mean, this timing can't be coincidence that we're getting Agent Coulson, Mockingbird, and Ghost Rider Robbie Ray has on the same, like, time frame. And I mean, I know that we have Quake and uh, Yo-Yo here. I know this has nothing to do with them. They're just, they're here, though. We're so close. We've never had five characters from the show. We had three. We just got the second two. All right. I got to go. I got to go jump into. Robbie does work with the other. Robbie and Quake team up. Robbie and Coulson team up. Oh, you're telling me that he doesn't work with in game. Yeah. I mean, I just, it never, I wasn't thinking about it. I just, we're putting it together today, boys. No, I didn't build Gwenpool. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fuck. I got to end this stream before I lose my goddamn mind. No, nah, we don't need Melinda May. We just need them to make the... All right, I have to end this video. I have to end this stream. I need to go to the Envoy channel, and I have to demand that they put some kind of synergy between Ghost Rider, Coulson, Mockingbird, Quake, and, and Yo-Yo. Because, oh, my fucking God... I can't believe how close we are. And uh, unfortunately, we have reached the end of this video. So make sure you check out the other videos on this channel. Make sure you check out all those math videos that are going to be coming. They're going to be plentiful. And grave diggers, keep digging.